Hi friends, happy Thursday. It is officially release Eve for my new single Denim that's coming out tonight at midnight Eastern time. So if you're in Central time, it'll be 11. If you're on the West Coast, it'll be nine. And I am just so excited. I am still like <laughs> not ready for the day, but I hardly slept last night because I'm just so stoked. And I realized that I have never really made a whole video to explain kind of the story behind the song. So if you're new to this party, my new song, Denim, is the first single off of my project that's coming this year and it's coming out tonight. So I'm so, so, so excited for this one. I've been teasing it for a little while now and um, people seem to really love it. So I thought I'd just come on here and say, hey, and tell you a little bit behind the song. So. Coffee cheers first. So I wrote this song with my friends Aubrey Toome, Brooklyn, and Regan Rousseau last September. So we were sitting in my apartment and um, I had this bright orange rug in my music room. And we were, we always call it like the orange rug. The, all the magic happens on the orange rug. So we were sitting down to write and I was telling them I really wanted something that was just feel good and warm and um, I don't have many songs like that. I'm a little bit of a party song and a heartbreak song kind of gal. So we were looking for that and we just started having this conversation about what really makes us feel good. And uh, I'm a girl that loves clothes. I love fashion. I love feeling good in my skin and having the right outfit. So I was telling them about this denim jacket that I have and it's this big denim jacket and has the UPS logo on the back. So this denim jacket was my grandma Carol's and um, I grew up with my grandma Carol. She was one of my favorite people in the whole world. I grew up with her three houses down from my parents' house and um, I just have loved her so, so, so much. So she sadly passed away back in 2020 and when she passed away, I inherited a few things of hers, some rings and necklaces and earrings and all the things. And uh, one of the things that when I was going through her closet, she had like the best taste in the world. Um, I saw this denim jacket and I had to have it. So my grandma Carol was a total badass and she loaded trucks at UPS for like 25 years. She had great big biceps and she was tough as nails. And I was just telling my friends that this is like my go-to. If I am sad, there's like tear stains and mascara stains all over the sleeves. And um, this, if I'm sad, this is what I put on. It's my crying jacket. And when I'm just snuggled up on the couch at home, even in sweatpants, I put it on. Um, and same thing when I'm going out for the night and I don't know what to wear, I throw a cute little tank top on and throw this jean jacket on and it's just kind of become my safety net. And, um, we got into this conversation about how it seems like denim is like the most universal fabric in fashion. Like no one looks bad in, in denim and everybody's got like their favorite pair of jeans or their pair of favorite pair of shorts or a jacket or whatever it is that they love and they feel good and it fits them good. And so we were talking about that and we were talking about how that correlates with love. And it seems like everyone finds love at some point in their life, right? And so how can we make these two super universal things like seem like one? So we started to write the song and it's called Denim. And I'm so excited for it to come out tonight. I am getting emotional, I could cry, we worked so hard, so, so hard. When we wrote the song, we spent so much time making sure that every lyric related to denim and it related to love. And so this is my version of a love song and I cannot wait for you to have it. If you haven't yet, you can still pre-save it. I'm gonna put the link below. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to share this one with y'all. This is the very beginning of the next chapter and I can't thank you enough for the support. So I'll see you soon.